New World Order. Billions of people on planet Earth are living in ignorance. Before your very eyes, politicians are advancing a global plan. Since the time of Napoleon, secret societies have been influencing politicians to take over and conquer Europe. Now, in the 21st century, their work of ages is coming to fruition. The New World Order is about the centralization of power. It's about silencing any public criticism of the system. It's about commercializing and selling everything as a product. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. A world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. The United States, a country which really doesn't understand foreign policy very well in terms of its public, uh, because its public is not all that engaged in the world. Nevertheless, the United States is in a key position to shape this so that the problem of the Bush presidency will be the emergence of a new international order. Within the next four years, we will see the emergence of a new international the beginning, order. The beginning. And after 1989, President Bush kept saying, and it was a phrase that I often used myself, that we needed a new world order. And the question for us is how we meet and master all these challenges to ensure that Britain enhances its competitiveness in the process and realize, realizes what I believe is our destiny for success in this new world order. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, a new world is emerging. A new world order with significantly different and radically new challenges for the future. To the councils of government, we must guard against the acquisition of unwarranted influence, whether sought or unsought, by the military-industrial complex. The potential for the disastrous rise of misplaced power exists and will persist. We must never let the weight of this combination endanger our liberties or democratic processes. save us and then oh Bush was evil uh, now we'll be saved by Barack Obama but he's just a puppet but as we get deeper into this phase uh, w when they implode the economy they have all the money and all the control and then, but they also like to pose as the savior so Obama is meant to be the savior during the depression and he'll save us with a million person he said is bigger bigger than our military domestic spy force a three million person environmental spy force so giving people these jobs to be government bureaucrats and spies to go out and manage uh, the other uh, you know, 290 something million Americans. And so this is classical fascism. The communists also do it. Any vertically integrated command and control authoritarian system does this. So they're openly following what the same group of banks did in Germany, Russia. You know, it's in the Communist Manifesto to have a private central bank because the private central bankers actually wrote the ideas that they had Marx and Engels put out. People go, well, why would the banks want communism? It doesn't exist. They rape us, they consolidate us, they put us into work brigades, they make us slaves, and they say it's a people's paradise. Look at it, boy, you're really doing good. And then they transfer all the wealth of the nation offshore. The globalists are outside all the nations, that gives them safety, and they play countries off against each other. 
And so that's what we're facing and dealing with. And so they're bringing in classical, hardcore tyranny in the U.S. But we have the internet. We've grown our numbers. The alternative media has exploded. That's what they're trying to move in to shut down and regulate and tax the web. But it's too late for them. Uh, they're, they're playing in the 19th century, 20th century rules. It's the 21st century, the century of resistance to tyranny. And so it's going to be one hell of a fight. Uh, with the people and free humanity on one side and the new world order on the other. And every one of you out there counts, needs to be involved in this fight like nothing you've been involved with before because this is life and death. Everything depends on exposing these people. Everything depends on showing the people that this is the new world order. This is the criminals. We're dealing with the king rats here, the people that are carrying out tyranny worldwide. And either they fall or we fall. Either worldwide darkness and a new age of tyranny and oppression and with a scientific overlay or a new age of liberty and freedom and a new renaissance. The choice, the choice is the people's out there. Okay, we can tell you what's going on. You can check it out for yourself and find out it's true. But don't wait. Investigate now. Get involved now. Go out there and reach out now. We don't have time. If you're looking for the solution, look in the mirror. Look right into the mirror because you out there, men, women, old, young, black, white, doesn't matter. It's going to be up to you if they win or if liberty succeeds and the people have a chance of having any future. These are cold-blooded eugenicists. These are cold-blooded people who think they're God, think that they're our masters, and think that we're animals. These are the guys that funded Lenin and Stalin and Hitler and Mao. These are the guys, it's all on record, that bankroll this stuff. They are hardcore vicious, and they must be resisted.